Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to another review. So, Transformers Rise of the Beast just left the theaters. It has been a great week across the Spider-Verse, The Flash, and now Transformers all in one week. All great movies in one week, man. This is amazing to me. So, anyways, um, I'm going to start with this. In this movie, they have confirmed the crossover is, in fact, happening. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what it is, but you know, maybe if you find out for yourself, you might get hyped for it. Because I'm not really a big fan of that thing that they're crossing over with. I mean, I'm just an okay fan. Uh, <laughs> I'm more of a fan of Transformers than that. So, I, I, at first, watching the scene, I didn't really know that was it. I mean, they didn't actually say any names or anything. Uh, I thought it was just a regular, like, um, regular agency in the you know, Transformers universe, like Sector 7 or any other universe. But nah, and they just revealed via, like, a, you know, like a calling card. Not the car card yet. Like a, you know, car, small car thing and then the logo and the name was on it. I'm like, oh yeah, they're doing it. So the crossover is definitely happening. I don't know when. <laughs> like this movie was not the crossover, but it was just a tease at the end. So maybe the next movie that they do, they're going to do a crossover. I don't know what they're playing <laughs> with the Transformers universe. <laughs> All right, man. I, I want to um say this about this movie first. The human characters did not like them. Transformers will never learn. Like when are they going to learn that people do not care about the human characters. Not that they don't care, but they have to make the Transformers the main, like, standout in the movie and not the human characters. Like, when are people gonna listen? <laughs> like, the Monsterverse, they learned their lesson because originally they were focusing more on the humans and less on uh, monsters. And then you see that Godzilla vs. Kong, they kind of did it where they focused more on the monsters, gave us more fights, and then, you know, very less human plot. That is good. But Transformers will never learn. <laughs> they keep... They keep doing it. Keep doing it. The, the whole human plot, like, I don't care about this. Just give me Transformers. I don't want to see this. I don't want to care what happens to him. Like... Oh, bro, I swear. Even, um, <laughs> you know how the movie always ends with Optimus, Optimus uh, Prime speech? But no, in this movie, it was a human speech at the end of the movie, bro. I can't. They really wanted to push the humans far too much in this movie. I just can't, bro. It was so annoying. Like, even the starting of the movie, it was like five minutes of the Maximals um, flashback. And then after that, the next 15 minutes or so or plus was only humans no transformer whatsoever like uh, bro i don't care like where's the transformers <laughs> I, cannot. I cannot look, look i don't want to assume the reason why they were pushing the human characters too much but it kind of was obvious like you know how with american movies nowadays everything has to be diverse so yeah this the two main characters in the movie were you know a bit diverse so um and uh like there weren't any barely any white characters in this movie too and again i don't really care about the race thing in transformers movies because like i said i don't even care if they're human like i care about the transformers <laughs> so i mean there were like two um you know white characters in the, in the movie but they were shown like kind of like an you know an ass in the movie where they were not behaving good to these two main characters i'm assuming it's because of the race like the, there was some line where it was like people like you you know like so i'm assuming there was a hidden context there that was uh, miss being mistreated because of their race so you know they gotta add that shit uh the girl was uh, african-american and the guy was latino and then they showed a lot of um stereotypical type of stuff too like uh the black girl would be like my dad didn't go to school or something and then uh the latino dude would ask for help from the black guy to you know and then they would go to steal a car or you know stuff like that uh so they really wanted to do that uh, race thing a little bit but again i don't care <laughs> At all, at all about the human stuff. I don't really care about any of this. <laughs> like, I just wanted to see Transformers. So my biggest problem with the movie is they were trying to push the human plot way more than the Transformers. Like they made the they really wanted to make the the humans stand out more. Like like when would they never they will never learn, bro. I swear. Like look, you see, you saw in the first three movies, like the the Wiki family, they were uh, decent human characters, and all the soldier, like the Lennox and everything, they were uh, you know decent human characters, right? For go to four and five, I didn't really care about anybody else except for Kate. I thought Kate was a decent character too. Everybody else, nah, not so much. Uh, Bumblebee, she I forgot her name. Uh, she was pretty. She was good too. And this one, bro, I swear, like they, you know how like um, 
they, they really wanted to make the Autobots like useless where they were literally depending on these humans for everything like in the previous movies like the, the Autobots they can do things by themselves with or without the humans help right in this one no like like these two humans were the one that like knew how to do everything the only thing that the Autobots was doing basically was to fight like everything else was done by the humans like like they like they really wanted to make um like make it like um without the humans like nothing could have been possible you get what i mean like in the previous movies with or without uh the humans the autobots still could have done something right they could have still done things on their own but in this movie no nah, like if if it was without the humans the plot would not have progressed at all they wrote it in such a way that the humans were so important to the plot where without them nothing could could have been achieved like that's that was, <laughs> that was so stupid bro i swear to god at one point, even they gave this dude super strength, man. I was done. Th this main character's name was Noah, all right? So he was a soldier or anything. And then, um, uh, and then, you know, he joined with the Transformers and, you know, uh, oh, man, I can't, uh, wait, let me think about it. Uh, so, um, at one point, they gave him super strength. He was strong enough to literally hold on to Optimus Prime like by himself uh you know because optimus were being sucked into unicron and then you know not not in, in any terrible way but you know uh and then um like, i get it he had the armor on and everything because he f emerged with mirage but still it don't make sense the fact that that dude was able to hold on to optimus just by himself like i was done and then after that, he accidentally let go, and then Optimus Primal brought him back. And I'm like, bro, this they really gave this dude the same amount of strength as Optimus Primal. That is insane. And then the other, the girl as well, she was hanging on to the le to the edge of, um, like, she went into this underground thing. And then she was holding on on one hand, and just on one hand, and then the other hand, she used the spear, like, a stick-like thing, and then stabbed the, uh, stabbed the, the evil minion thing, and then, you know... I, I was done, bro. They they was literally making the humans more OP than the Transformers. I was done. I, I, I cannot. So, like, I, I was going to say, like, if you want to enjoy this movie, you can, like, ignore the human characters who was not there, but it's not possible. Because, like I said, they wrote this movie in a way that you literally cannot imagine this movie progress without the humans. Like, the humans were so important to the to the movie where you cannot even imagine it. Because I was going to say, like, because, um, you know, I was already expecting the human characters to be a certain ways. So I was like, and if it turned out bad, I was going to say, you know what? Just ignore the human plots. You'll be fine. But nah, you, you literally can't... You, you just cannot imagine the, the plot progress in any way without the humans, bro. It was... Uh, bro, I don't know. Uh, yeah, the human plot was... Uh, man. Even the... Bro, you know how the movie always ends with a... um, uh, You know... I, mean, I already said this, right? <laughs> like, the movie normally ends in like... um. Uh, uh, a Optimus Prime speech, right? That's what normally the movie ends in, but no, it was a human speech at the time. I cannot. All right, you know what? I'm done with the humans, bro. Let's go to the Transformers stuff. Uh, Transformers, bro. Mirage. Oh my god, I can't stand them. I they were literally trying to make Mirage the new Bumblebee, like Mirage and Noah, the new Bumblebee and Sam, bro. I hated so much what they did to Bumblebee in this movie, bro. I cannot. I I wanted to walk out at one point. I'm like, ain't no way y'all are doing this to Bumblebee. Like, 40 minutes, 40, 45 minutes into the movie. Ain't no way. They literally did that so that they could sideline him from the rest of the movie. And then they brought him back at the end just for a little bit. Uh, bro, I was so pissed. Bro, if you're a Bumblebee fan, don't expect him to do jack shit. Like... He, oh, bro, I, I swear I was so pissed at what they did to him, bro. Like, he, bro, Mirage had more screen time than Bumblebee. Like, I was like, you, you can't be serious. <laughs> they gave more screen time to Mirage. They were literally trying to replace Mirage with Bumblebee. Oh, no, with, replace Bumblebee with Mirage. That's what they were trying to do. They were trying to put uh, Noah and, um... And and Mirage in the place of Sam and Bumblebee, bro. They 
Bro, Mirage had way, way, way more screen time than Bumblebee, man. They literally did that, did shit to Bumblebee just to sideline him for the rest of the movie and then first brought him back at the end. And then that whole time, it was Mirage and Noah who taken over, who was taken over. Like, they, like I said, they really wanted to make Noah and Mirage the new Sam and Bumblebee, bro. No. Oh, man. I, I cannot, bro. I cannot. You're, you're going to be disappointed, bro. If you're a Bumblebee fan, like, he didn't do Jack and stuff. That's fair. Uh, bro. Yeah, it was, it was not worth it. If you want to see Bumblebee in this movie, just that. Uh, if you're a Bumblebee fan, automatically you're going to not like this movie at all. Uh, I can't, bro. Apart from that, mostly, you know, uh, all the other stuff was actually pretty good. Um, I, I don't even get me started on the way Mirage talks, bro. I swear I cannot stand him. The way Mirage talk, I don't know who writ, uh, writ um, who wrote uh, Mirage. Mirage is like lying, so his whole personality was terrible. He he doesn't even seem like a transformer to you. Like when you 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 hear the other Autobots, or the other you know Decepticons, or whoever, when they talk, you can actually see the difference. Like all right, this is actually a, a you know a transformer, not a human person. But when Mirage talks, you can't actually you you keep seeing this one as a human. Like he does not talk as like a like a transformer at all like this dude literally speaks like a human like it's as if like you can't really tell the difference that between a human and, the, and a transformer when you whenever you listen to him speak like he was literally talking like a human person like bro i swear bro i just cannot stand mirage mainly because they even the post credit scenes was about noah and mirage they were literally trying to replace sam and bumblebee like you, you just w will not care about whatever happens to um noah and and um and Mirage relationship because they didn't actually do anything to make you care about it. You can't you can say you can't say the same for Sam and Bumblebee because at least they did an effort to make you care about them, you know, their friendship and everything. But about these two, you just don't care. They just like you know, just you know smush them together and be like, Yeah, yeah, they're 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 just you know, just you know, you just have to accept it. That's basically the whole movie, man, with the characters and everything, but I, I cannot so yeah, that was the bad parts of the movie, essentially, I would say, but apart from all this, everything else was good, uh, you know, the Transformers fight, su fighting stuff, the Transformers, the, the final battle thing that they had, all was actually pretty good, the Maximals, all of them was pretty good, but sadly, all these other stuff kind of overshadowed it a little bit, where, like, um, they were just trying to focus on the human plots too much, bro, they will never learn, man, they will never learn. I swear, I don't know why, what's the, you know, the issue with these guys, like, why can't you just give the Transformers more screen time, I have no idea why, or, you know, have them more essential to the plot, like, they will just never listen, I don't know what, what else to say, but, look, if you're going into this movie just solely for Transformers action, you just want to see Transformers fight, then be my guest, you're going to enjoy it, so, um, if you want to see this movie as a whole, I cannot, bro. I cannot. I cannot. So, yeah, I, I just tried to be optimistic. I just wanted to see just the transformations and all the fight stuff. I really enjoyed all the fight stuff in this movie, bro. It just, everything else just kind of watered it down and just, yeah. I went in with so much expectation. Whatever you see in the trailer, don't even believe it. Like, you know, I know how in the um trailer they show like 99% Transformer related fight stuff. Yeah, that was not the movie at all. That was just to reel people in, to make people think that, hey, you know what? Yeah, this is going to be about fully Transformers, but nope. This is a movie which will not function well at all without the human, humans, you know, characters. So, so all right, man, I, I don't know what else to say, but yeah, I'm just going to, you know, <laughs> stop it right here. You can go watch it for yourself, you know, if you want to watch it. Uh, I mean, you can watch it for the Transformers scene alone. Like, if I ever watch it again, I'm probably going to just, like, forward the damn human parts. Just watch the Transformers parts. That's what I'm going to do. Oh, uh, man. Um, yeah. I, I guess that is it for this review for uh, Transformers Rise of the Beast. If you find this uh, review enjoyable or helpful, then, you know, subscribe to the channel for more our movie reviews like this and um yeah give this video a like if you enjoyed it and i'll see you next time <laughs> till then everybody take care goodbye